Uh, it's been a while since I've done a TFT video, but uh, sorry about uh, the the whatever the people talking in the background. But uh, this is a just a lobby, a whatever lobby. Um, I was just playing with some people. One of my friends was in bed. Um, I was just playing sniper on Pro Viaduct RC3. Um, I don't do very well until the end. This is kind of a fail lobby. I just wanted to show, tell you guys uh, what you should do in a fail lobby situation. You don't want to be that guy who just leaves because if peop if everybody leaves, it's going to be a complete fail lobby. In this situation, it turned out um, it was only like two or three people left. So it was okay. I mean, it went towards, you know, completely to the end. Um, yeah, that's awkward. Uh, somebody just came in mumble. Uh, I was waiting for the med, obviously, and there you go. Uh, if you see a medic and yours, I mean, this soldier kept harassing me the entire game. All he ever did was jump me. He never got kills, you know, except me. I mean, he did, of course, but I, he mainly uh, went for me because I was kind of destroying their team. I do a lot better later on, like I said before. Um, uh, overall, um, sniping-wise, I go 35 and 1, with so I get 35 headshots, and I get headshot once. Uh, their sniper was 13 and 7, so we got or not not 37, not 35 headshots, 35 sniper kills. And uh, the sniper, the other sniper, got 13 sniper kills and seven kills against him. So I killed him seven times, and uh, he killed me once. I don't know, whatever. It was just kind of interesting. My um my lerp was kind of weird. I don't know. I just recently changed my config to run DX9 frames, and I added some things with my interp, and uh, it made it so that my gun is a lot a little bit laggier. So with um yeah, that's the only time I get sniped by him. The um the only time that I uh I mean whenever I shoot, it takes a little bit longer for it to register in the game. So it turned out that like I had to shoot a little bit earlier than I was used to. So in the beginning, as you can sort of see that I miss a lot more shots. It's I don't know. Normally I wouldn't shoot these, sh miss these shots, but whatever. Yeah, Strabes is you know just talking a lot. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm responding as, but I do get mad. Uh, not mad, but kind of angry. Later on, the medic just sniped me with an arrow there. Um, because their spy and soldier, all they do is come after me. Their spy was pretty good, I'm not going to lie, I just saw that he was right there, but he goes in house, um, pretty sure the demo gets him, but stole the kill from Strapes. Uh, I, as you can see, the med's trying to snipe me again, and the soldier's jumping, yep, as he does the entire game, because all he wants to do is kill me, because he's not good, um, but yeah, is he still, no, okay. I think the med tries to like full on snipe me right here. No, it's later on. You'll see. It's really funny. But they went through a, a couple of meds because the, the first med rage quit and then went to a different class, and a bunch of stuff happened. And I don't know. They went through multiple meds. I was really mad there. That should have been a headshot. But like I said, my lerp is a little bit different. It's it's different every time that you change your lerp. That NG got really mad turns it into the game because all I would do is destroy his sentries like as they went up. It's kind of funny, but whatever. But their sniper's not good though. I get him here, I think. Yeah. This is a really like chill game because we kind of just destroy the whole time. That see, that's what I'm saying. Like with my old derp, that would have been a headshot. I don't think that would have been a headshot, but. I was just waiting here, well a lot of the time I was waiting for the med, but I realized that the med wasn't coming back up so I decided to kill the heavy. Because your first priority as sniper, at least I believe, is to kill the enemy sniper. Second priority would be to kill the medic and then power classes, like uh, heavy, uh, demo man, and all those kind of classes. Uh, primary sniper would be number one because, as you can see, I do work. Not that much, I mean, I'm not bragging about this lobby, but it was, you know, it was decent. And if you can do, a li like, really well as a sniper, you can just destroy the enemy team. And, like, that's why you want to shut down the other uh, the other sniper, because he can do the exact same thing. So, yeah, basically, kill the sniper first. That was a nice little headshot. 
Um, so yeah, we were just kind of destroying, so... Uh, <laughs> that was really funny when I got that. I didn't even think I killed him, but... Whatever. Like I said, if you're, uh... If you're kind of just messing around and, uh... You gotta kill, kill the peeps. It doesn't really matter if you get a body shot. It's more, um... Uh, how would you say? More, uh... Honorable, I guess, if you get headshots, but it doesn't matter if the person's down, they're down. So, at least, at least the way I think of it, if the meds, if you fully charge, body shot, drop the med, like, who cares? You drop the med, you know? Sure, the other team will complain, be like, oh, you're bad, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people think of you as long as you help your team win. So, here we're about to win, I, th I believe. That spy actually did a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie, he was pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna take anything away from him. But he used the Dead Ringer a lot, and I really don't like it when people use the Dead Ringer. I, I don't know what it is. So as you can see, I top fragged. I, uh, I told Strabes to kick Cool Beans because he was a 10th player. I don't think you can see the Steam Overlay. No, you can't. The demo recording doesn't record Steam Overlay. Oh yeah, I'm... Uh, just doing a ad a thing over over a uh, demo because recording in game is way too laggy. I see like I don't know in the beginning of the match I should have like all these kills, but like my I just don't know. I blamed it on the inter, but it wasn't really about the inter. Like if you saw how weird it was, like I clicked and then like a millisecond or like a couple milliseconds later it would hit him. Like that's not normally how it was for me before. It was just I clicked and it registered immediately and it doesn't do that anymore and it's... I don't like it uh, so I'm gonna change it back later though because right now I can't do it as I play Soldier just jumped all the time, yeah the med, I don't know he just, he was kind of just yelling and uh, ubered me, so as you can see uh, first person left I don't know why but I go into my, my inventory a lot just for the interesting how it's really funny that med was so so beast he got the uber saw and our med to kill him and then an uber saw the scout to get the uber and then he ubered away <laughs> it was hilarious so here i'm going back up to cliff as you can see i like cliff a lot um that's because their team surrounds our stairs side it makes it hard for me to get out and actually get a good viewing angle to snipe i'm um, sure it's really obvious when i go up here because i mean it's obvious because everyone knows that i come up here and snipe but it works, and until they come up and kill me, like, whatever. It doesn't really matter if I die, because I'm in the assassination class. I don't have to be up all the time, as long as I can get the picks to make it so our team doesn't... Or, uh, our, so our team always has a player advantage, and I can just get the simple little picks. That's, that's what matters, and especially getting important picks like the sniper, or the medic, or power classes. If you can keep them down all the time, even if you die to, like, the spy a lot, it doesn't matter, because you're doing your job. That's at least the way I see it. I mean, it's always good to be alive because you can get even more picks. But if the spy is singling you out and there's nothing you can do because your team doesn't want to sacrifice a player to protect you, then you gotta do what you gotta do. Their sniper was not really that effective. He was not really up. I never really saw him. Um, that should have been a headshot. I was really mad. But I'm pretty sure I didn't get him. Yeah. But, um, yeah, their sniper wasn't really a threat because he was just down all the time. I don't I don't really know where he went. Maybe he was AFK, but he just wasn't there. I don't know. So that was really obvious. But you know, what am I going to do? My team can take care of him. He dead Ryan because he does that. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you get a body shot. Like, the soldier's down now. Um... This sniper was just in really obvious spots all the time. Yeah, that I didn't understand either. The sniper just, or the spy just, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. Just killed me there. If you're wondering what I use, you can obviously see there. Um, especially on Koth maps. See, like I said, it doesn't really matter if I get backstabbed. So I don't use the Razorback. I, not a, I know a lot of people do use the Razorback because it protects them from a spy. Though it doesn't really protect you because any spy... Uh, in at least like mid high level UGC would be able to just uh, headshot you with the, the ambassador and then body shot you or two shot you with the enforcer or the revolver or whatever 
So yeah, I don't think that the it's that effective. Also, it's a lot easier. It's a lot better for your team to just use Jurati. That's what I use. Jurati's uh, my personal choice. I use just the stock sniper rifle. Sometimes, depending on the map, maybe payload, I'll use the Machina. Also, it doesn't really matter with Machina because you can get collaterals. Uh, like with the med involved, you know, like a headshot on the heavy and it'll kill the med too. Uh, so stuff like that is really, really cool. I don't know, I just wasn't doing well in this uh, this mid. Like I said, I went um, for the sentry instead of killing the soldier, which is kind of dumb. But I think I get the... I don't know, someone. The med is standing right there. Yeah, soldier jumped me. This is basically the start of him jumping me. So as you can see, uh, I use the Bushwhacker, Jurati, and the North Stock Sniper. Uh, Bushwhacker and Jurati are just OP, honestly. Like if a spy is coming up to you and he's, you know, he know, you know, he's not that good. It's just insanely overpowered. Also on cough maps like this, if they're all on the point and your team's making like a final push, you can just run uh, to like cliff and throw Jurati, and it will get everyone on the point. And if your team pushes in with like a demo, it's just it's a good game. I mean. It makes such a big difference, giving everyone mini crits. It's very, very good. And there, like I, I'm not that skilled enough to get, just get a quick headshot there. So for me, getting a body shot there was just like whatever. Lagging a little bit. Not sure what's going on. That was a really cool headshot. A really laggy headshot, but still pretty nice on the med. So I was really mad that should have been a headshot, but. He backs off, I think. Because I body shot him and I didn't see him again. So. I at least I think he backs off. I focused a lot on getting the sentries. I know I've said this a million, million times, but it's true, actually. I had 13 destructions, I think, at the end of the game. 13 destructions is a lot. <laughs> uh, for like a short cough map. Uh, I jump a lot, which is kind of stupid, I know. Um, but it's just a habit, and I need to break the habit, definitely. Uh, I don't know what it is about jumping a lot, but it just makes me feel safer. Um, safer from getting counter-sniped. Also, if you jump a lot, um, like immediately, right after, it's really easy to learn how to strafe for uh, rockets, or surf rockets, I guess. Which is what I love. Uh, it's so much fun. Uh, especially if a soldier gets you from really far over. A soldier is uh, bombing you, and you surf the rocket like cross map, like a health pack, and he's just like, "What happened?" It's it's hilarious, and it's really it's fun too. Uh, I don't know. The spy was just whatever. He dead running again, but you know. I don't know. The spy tries to get like trick stabs on me later in the game, and it's just like, "What are you doing?" I mean, I main spy, so I know all the trick stabs. But, like I said, I'm not going to take away anything away from him. That was a legitimate stab. And he, as you can see, he just got like a 4k chain stab, including our med, so... So whatever. Though I do uh, count, or not count, <laughs> I do um, call out the soldier all the time for... Uh, just jumping me. I think it starts this round. Or next round. I don't know. Yeah, it starts this round. All the soldier does is jump cliff. Or he just stays up there. Thinks he's good. I don't even know. He literally just sits up there and waits for me. Uh, and I can't go stairs because it's crowded all the time. Like, this is... I'll show you. This is what happens when I go stairs. So I was just literally waiting in our spawn. Literally waiting for me. Um, though, like I said, I do that too, so, whatever, I do that a lot, I just spy on Viaduct, I sit in there, that little cubby, and wait, so, whatever, uh, pretty sure the soldier's out here, whenever I come, or he jumps, yeah, the scout's here, then the soldier comes and kills me, yeah, I just got really mad. Not mad, but upset that all he did was jump me. Because he didn't do anything during this entire time. Oh yeah, the green confetti effect looks weird, but it's just a green confetti uh, 
whatever the hat's called. It's a green confetti sludge. Because I was going to buy a green confetti trophy belt, because I love trophy belts. I have like eight of them, and eight matching veils. Uh, I don't know. Something about dirty trophy belts and clean veils is just interesting for me to collect. I don't know. Okay, whatever. So, I collect them. And I was going to get... A, I don't know how to miss that headshot. I, 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 I don't know. Again, I was uh, thinking of whether to kill people or to kill the uh, the sentry and decided to kill the sentry. Uh, I knew that they were in connector, and I called it out to my friend, and yep, get stabbed. So this is basically where it starts, the chain of him stabbing me, which is kind of annoying. It, I don't know if you guys find it annoying me going into my inventory a lot, but I pretty much do it after every death. Just, I don't know, it's a habit again, it's a bad habit. And I do it a lot. <laughs> Strapes. I obviously saw it was a spy because of the smoke. He expected me to jump in there, and then of course the soldier jumps me because there's nothing else I can do. Literally, the spy and soldier just completely targeted me, and it was really annoying. I mean, it's probably because at the time I was like 26 and 3 or something before they started going after me a lot. I'm pretty sure I was typing here like go some go after somebody else. Yeah, had some skill. And MLG spelling on the defenseless. But whatever. Like I said, I was angry. It happens. Plus, they're like two players down. See, that was a headshot, honestly. And I was expecting the spy to be here. Just being paranoid, that's the job of the spy. And he definitely did a good job of making me paranoid. So, whatever. Didn't even top frag because, you know, I'm bad. So here we're going again. Uh, this is the fourth round? I'm not even sure. It's going to be a long video. It's going to be the entire lobby, so... Whatever. Like I said, I haven't done a TFT video in a while. This is going to be the first episode of the lobby series. Because I'm going to start doing videos of lobbies. I might even get mumble comps. Oh, this is the funny part with the med. I, that was a headshot. And I actually do get it. But, yep, there we go. <laughs> he was pretty good with the crossbow, though. Um... So, I think I'm decent with sniping. I'm not the best sniper, obviously, but I could play Steel Silver. There we go again. Memorize. Get stabbed. Pretty, uh, cool stuffs. Alright, okay, just had to sneeze, had to mute my mic, whatever. I'm dead, so it doesn't like, like it makes a difference. Uh, demo spawn camp in NBD. Uh, yeah, so, there's not much really for me to talk about. This is just kind of stuff about, like, sniper, like, if you're sort of new to competitive sniping, or new to sniping at all, uh, don't be afraid to body shot people. Like, honestly, it doesn't make a difference. If they die, they die. Especially when you're, I mean, maybe in your, if you're in a lobby and you just want to work on headshots, go ahead, like I said, there's a spy again. Uh, a lot of people at this point would switch to Razorback and move their position, but for me, that's just a... It's just a bad idea in general. I don't want to give the spy the feeling of, of that he won, okay? And trust me, I know, because I main spy, and when I see a sniper that I've stabbed multiple times go Razorback, it gives me a feeling of I beat him, and there's no way I'm giving that spy that feeling, because for me, it feels good, so I don't want him to have that feeling. So, that's it. But yeah, basically the whole body shotting thing, don't worry about it. Just body shot. If you're afraid that you're going to miss the headshot on the medic, and you have a clear shot, and you're fully charged, body shot him. I'm not saying that you should purposely aim for body shots all the time, but like I said, if you can't, if, you, if you're if you really worried, and if this is like a game-changing moment, and you're worried that you'll miss the headshot, go ahead and body shot him. Whatever, who cares? If he drops, you still dropped him. Like I said, I said that before, but it's true. It is. It's very true. It's something that I think a lot of snipers just don't understand. They, they have to get headshots only. It's um, it's a respect thing, you know? It's like, okay, like if a medic gets headshot and drops, obviously he's going to get mad, but he's not going to be as mad as if he get, gets body shot and dropped. Like, what med likes to be body shotted? Nobody. No one likes to get body shot. 
Which is why it's funny to body shot people because they get mad and I am going to admit it's funny. I like seeing people when they get mad. And that was whatever. Mad just whatever. This is really annoying. This soul spree. I don't understand how his dead ringer regens so fast. First of all, he tries to corner stab me, which is stupid because I've main spy. It was obviously he was going to corner stab me. But what am I going to do? All I have is my sniper rifle versus his spammy enforcer. So, or not enforcer, whatever. Ambassador, I don't even care. But like I said, it's just, just stuff like that. They just make me angry when people specifically go for me. I'm not gonna lie, when I'm a soldier, and whenever I play Viaduct, I do spawn uh, Camp the Sniper. Because it's an easy kill, and it's important. But that doesn't mean that all the only person I kill is a sniper. Unlike this person. And look at this NG right now. This made me so mad. The only person he wanted to kill was me. He went through all those people just to kill me because I kept destroying his freaking sentries. And look what he writes in chat. Like, he thinks he's good. Which is the most amusing part of it. Whatever. It's a lobby, man. Our control point is being captured. Mission ends in 60 seconds. But, but yeah, if you're interested in getting into Highlander as a sniper, just go for it. If you're looking for a team, and you're in a scrim or something, like I said, don't be afraid to body shot people. If you want to impress the team, make big plays. Don't just headshot everyone, because if you're going for only headshots, you will miss. Unless you're like, freaking like, jukebox or something, but if you're, if you're jukebox, you're probably not looking for, uh, you know, like a, a Highlander team or a UGC team looking for, like, a, like, I don't know, or, no, whatever, it doesn't matter. Traps is kind of gay. Look, there we go, soldier jump me, cool, but whatever. It's all good, man. It's all good. Like I said, it's a lobby. Who cares? Lobbies are quick and painless, and the more you do, the more you'll, you know, the more it'll be better. <laughs> the more you'll be better. The more you practice and play in lobbies, the more experience you'll gain. And when people say that lobbies are just bad um, mixes, that's not true, okay? Because mixes are just as bad, in my opinion, as lobbies. Mixes got really bad recently. It gets to the point where it's basically, it's lobbies with mumble, and it's the, the people are just as bad, and the people are just as retarded, and make do stupid things. Because I'm not going to lie, when me and my friends stack sixes lobbies, all we do is off class, and still roll. But see, the difference is, it, wow, that was pathetic. You know, it's a lobby, so people expect that. But in pugs and stuff, that's not, that's not what's supposed to happen. And that's what's really going wrong with uh, pugs recently. Anyway, like I said, if you're new, it's sniping key things. Don't worry about it, you know? Just play. I guess we still have one round. I will do uh, more of these lobbies. Has different classes and in different game modes and on different maps. Because I believe that people, the metas are so powerful, okay? And it needs to change. People need to play how they want to play and kill people if they want to kill people, okay? You don't need to follow, like, I have to headshot people, a sniper, because, oh my god, fuck that spy. Just watching, like, I'm not playing, obviously, this is a demo, like I said before, but even just watching and getting stabbed is just, uh, just not, it's just, just annoying. God, look at that, look at that spy trying to get the stat, like, what is that? I actually do get some nice, a nice chain of uh, headshots later in this round. But it was just, yeah, look at, look at the freaking soldier right here, like, can you not? <laughs> it's just me with the respawn times, and him killing me, I just, meh. Oh, 
if you guys have stayed this long, congratulations, because now we're going to talk about school. Um, not very long, because we don't have much time left, this is the last round. But, if you guys have started school, I don't know if you guys, how old any of you are, I don't even know if anyone will watch this, because we don't even have that many subscribers who care about TF2. Whatever. Uh, anyway, so school has started, started uh, two days ago for me, because today's Wednesday, or... Yeah, today's Wednesday, and it started Tuesday, which is two days of school so far. Uh, the first day of school, obviously, is just them telling you you go to all your classes. We have a block schedule, so we have uh, four classes a day, but we only have seven classes, so our third period we have every day, but it's a shorter period. So, I don't know. School started, I don't know if, um... Oh my god, <laughs> Uh, that's nice. <laughs> Oh my god, that was just so weird and just cut me off. Okay. <laughs> um, school. So anyway, so school's just started, so I won't be playing that much. I won't be playing as much. Um, so I won't. I don't know if I'll be making these videos uh, soon, but the season 11 of EGC Highlander is starting the 9th, uh, and. UGC 6's starts the uh, 11th. So the Wednesday the 11th is going to be UGC 6's, or, uh, UGC 6's and Monday the 9th is going to be uh, UGC Highland. So I may may or may not do a video of what, either one or both of the matches because I am currently in a 6's and Highlander team for UGC. Um, I do not think that our 6's team uh, is going to be fun. Uh, I say that it's not going to be fun because we are going to roll. Um, and most likely win first place because we are playing in iron. And yeah. But whatever. Uh, silver uh, Highlander is going to be fun if any of you guys pl uh, playing are in silver. Maybe we can uh, scrim or you know just MG whatever play. But a reminder, I don't play Sniper, I play Spy. So the things you see here, I, mean, I know I'm not that great because I don't even play Sniper. Uh, it is technically my third most played class with like 220 hours or something. But yeah, so if you guys have a silver team or, you know, even high steel or uh, even like low gold, we'll, we'll be down to scrim. Um, well, maybe. I don't know. We A lot of people... Uh, with school and stuff, don't really want to scrim that much, and I feel I feel them too. I don't think that we're gonna our team's gonna be scrimming all that much. I know our iron team's pretty much never gonna scrim. Um, we scrimmed uh, like a mid, like a low mid steel team, and we also scrimmed, or as uh, as the iron sixes team, and just 4 0 4 0 on two different maps. So yeah, I don't know. We're hopefully we'll do well. I don't know if we'll actually do well because there are a lot of teams that do the same thing that we do, sandbagging iron. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So like I said, um, anyone, uh, this guy's an idiot, this Pamala, whatever, I'm collecting veils, not selling them. Whatever. <laughs> People are complete retards. I think this is where I go on my little, uh, spree. So yeah, if you guys are, you know, you play UGC, tell me what division, what team. It'd be pretty cool to hear uh, feedback. And um, yeah, I would just be interested to uh, see if you guys even play, or how you guys, you know, if you guys are in the community, if you play sixes, you know, whatever. It'd just be cool to know. So just uh, in general or whatever, go ahead and uh, leave like a comment. Um, just saying, if you play, if not, if you're trying to get into it, uh, if you want, you can add me or whatever. Um, I, I, my Steam profile is not really uh, on, like, I don't know, you can't really, it's not on any of our uh, videos, but you can probably find me easily on Steam. It's just gold question mark right now. I don't know what it will be later. It, I change it a lot depending on the teams. But yeah, just add me and let me know. If you want some practice, maybe we can MG or something. As either, you know, soldier, spy, sniper, demo, scout, I don't I don't know, I play everything. 
So it'd be pretty cool just to see some of you guys if you even care. You know, whatever. If you don't. I don't care if you like it or dislike it. Because both give me ratings. Peace.